Did you ever tell your dad? No, my mother would tell me such awful things about my father. My parents are divorced. My mother would tell me he abandoned us. He doesn't want anything to do with you. He's happy with his new family now. He doesn't love you. So I thought, why bother going to him when he won't care? They started moving further and further away and the visits became more scarce. You know, I'd call and say, you know, where's Gypsy? And I'd talk to her and say, well, she's taking a nap. Uh, call back in an hour, I'll have her ready for you. So, you know, I'd call back and, you know, she'd be ready there with all the right answers. And it's scary to think what she told Gypsy, the consequences she'd have if, if she did say anything, you know. Pretty soon, I found a couple of bits of paper in my mom's safe, things that stated that I was born in 1991 made me question my real age. I asked her about it. She said that it was a typo. I had taken those papers and the Medicaid card that I found with my actual real birthday on it, and I ran away from home. I didn't get very far, because she found me pretty quickly and took me back home. Boy, was I in a lot of trouble. What happened when you got home? She smashed my laptop. How did she smash it? It was a hammer. And she told me if I was to contact anybody, any of her friends, and tell them that she would take a hammer to my fingers next time. And then she put a bell on the door, so if I tried to run away again, she could hear it. And she had taken handcuffs and a dog leash, and tied it together, and tied me to the bed, chained me to the bed. So how long were you tied to the bed? About two weeks. I just don't understand how somebody can do this to their child. Their child that they're supposed to protect and love, not use them as a cash cow and use them for their own means. Do you think she loved you? When I was younger, I thought that. And then when I found out the truth, I'm like, I didn't know this woman at all, did I? Everything that she ever told me was a lie. So how can I honestly believe her whenever she told me she loved me. She kept you in a wheelchair. She kept you on a feeding tube. She had you diagnosed with asthma, hypoventilation, epilepsy, hearing and vision impairment, GI reflux, muscular dystrophy, quadriplegia, mild mental retardation, as she called it, anemia, allergies, leukemia, incontinence, lung disease, heart disease, heart murmur, all of these things. They had you on pages and pages of medications, many of which have side effects that mimic the diseases that she said you had. You were being set up. Right. Why would she do that to you? 